Ongoing efforts to keep hundreds of jobs at Carrier from leaving Indiana. President-elect Donald Trump tonight has offered a glimmer of hope on this holiday. It all started with a tweet this morning suggesting that he's making progress to save 1,400 jobs. Call 6 Investigates' Rafael Sanchez has been digging into what this could possibly mean. Rafael. The tweet from Donald Trump raising expectations among hundreds of families here in Indianapolis who this time next year could be out of work. I've been talking with many carrier workers who were stunned with this Thanksgiving Day tweet from the president-elect. Mr. Trump saying he's trying to get carrier to stay in Indiana, adding making progress will know soon. Carrier, in turn, sent out its own tweet later this afternoon, confirming discussions with the new administration, but making clear it had nothing to announce at this time. Yeah, I think any talk is encouraging. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm glad uh, that he's bringing it up, and I'm glad Carrier got involved in talks with him. Uh, you know, in no way, shape, or form uh, is that discouraging. Even if it don't succeed, uh, we haven't lost anything because right as it stands right now, these jobs are moving out of this country. And, of course, that was the response from the local 1999 here in Indianapolis. Workers would be truly shocked if the company stayed because the workers themselves offered the company millions of dollars in concessions, and the company said, no, thank you. All right, on this Thanksgiving, let's talk about the big motivations yeah. for carrier actually moving those jobs south of the border, cost of labor, of course, and government regulations. As you know, carrier is moving jobs to Mexico. We went to Monterey. We went to this place right here. A carrier has a big operation there in Monterey where it can pay people $3 an hour and $6 when you add the benefits. Now, carrier could also be concerned with threats from the president elect because, as you may recall, Jason, we've talked about this covering the presidential politics that Mr. Trump has talked about slapping a 35% tax on products made at these plants in Monterey from Mexican-made products from carriers. Such a tax could give its competitors an edge. Could, but could you imagine, though, if Carrier did do a turnaround, the city and the state would have to refund the refund that they received, and then the workers would get to keep their jobs, which is really the best use of, of all. We'll have to wait to see, but a lot was said today on Twitter. All right, Rafael Sanchez. <laughs> see where it goes from here, Rafael. Thanks, Vice.